Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. But today I'm not coming to you as a representative of Rust Bucket Valley Garage. I am coming to you as Father Jeff. Uh, I've been an ordained minister for approximately 12 years. And today is Thanksgiving. And I just had a short message that I'd like to take and relate to you. And kind of the, the message I want to take and get across today is about your life. And the celebrations we have in our life, like Thanksgiving, like Christmas celebration of our Savior's birth. But today being Thanksgiving, you kind of give thanks for all the blessings that you have had during the past year. Things could have possibly been worse, but for some reason they were not. Um, life can be boiled down to a couple of very simple things and it all has to do with stuff and it's a common spelling s-t-u-f-f -F, stuff either you are planning to get stuff you are getting stuff you are having stuff repaired you are moving around stuff or you're getting rid of stuff. But this time of year, when the holidays start rolling in, and especially Thanksgiving, this is one of the very few times when stuff does not matter. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor, or you're tall, short, thin, large, what color you are, what your racial background is, what religion you are, none of that matters. The reason it doesn't matter is because Thanksgiving was a celebration of a bountiful harvest. And us being Americans, we have always celebrated Thanksgiving for many hundreds of years. And we generally celebrate it by having a turkey or a ham. Uh, when people get uh, bored with turkey and ham, then they have chicken. Some people have barbecue ribs. Some people have uh, some kind of Spanish cuisine to kind of change things up a little bit either uh, burritos or enchiladas, uh, very, very delicious. I have a lot of friends who make those, they are very delicious. So, the one thing that you should be thinking about today is the things you are thankful for. If you're thankful for your health, you're thankful for family, you're thankful you're alive. If you have a house to live in, if you have a car to drive, it doesn't matter what kind it is. It can be a motorcycle, it can be a Volkswagen, it can be a Cadillac, but you're thankful you have some transportation. You may even have a bicycle, but you're thankful that you have a bicycle so they can get around. So, when Thanksgiving comes around, and Christmas, of course, you should make an extra effort to get together with your family and your loved ones, put your phones down, turn off that football game, and actually speak to your family members and your loved ones 
and see what they got to say. How have you been? Had you had any illnesses? I'm glad you recovered. I'm glad you are well now. How is your mental health? Over the past three and a half years, we had this bad pandemic going on. Mental health problems are at an all-time high. So the human race right now is under a lot of stress. You see mass shootings nearly nightly on the news where someone has taken and, and taken the lives of innocent people. Okay, They had absolutely no idea that when they woke up that morning it was going to be their last day on the face of the earth. That by the end of the day they will either be dead or they will be gasping for life so that is one reason that you should give thanks and love the ones that are with you right now. Make an extra effort and put everything else aside. Okay? I hope I've given you some good thoughts. Bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Tell your people that you are close to, that you love them very dearly. You may not have another chance. Okay? So do it now. Never mind the stuff. It'll still be there tomorrow. The cars will be there tomorrow. The house will be there tomorrow. But... Get together with family, put the phones down, turn the game off. You will always take and remember back at this point in time. And you will really, truly feel loved. And your family will love you. You'll have happy dreams. It'll make you calmer. And that's, that's pretty much the thought that I wanted to take and get through today. Okay? God bless you all. Bless those in your family. And a short prayer for the food. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this food we are about to receive. May it nourish our bodies and nourish our brains so we may serve you and help others. Amen. See you next time. I hope you have a wonderful holiday.